the regression which is still under chapter 3 okay so what is regression regression is defined as the statistical technique to obtain equations all right we want to obtain the equations so we want to obtain the equations that relate all right that relate the two variables which is the variables x and also the variables y which is the independent variables and also the dependent variable okay so uh to do this regression so usually we'll have to do to find a linear regression equation which is given by y equal to a x uh, sorry y equal to a plus bx where a is the y intercept this a is actually the y intercept here so what is the value here all right and the b here is actually the slope so this is b is slope slope kecerunan is the tangent uh, sorry tangent line all right so um so x is always the independent variable and the y is dependent variable okay so we'll need to recall some uh example 3.3 which is given by this set of data and we'll have this kind of plot all right so this plot is uh, is obtained using this scatter plot and then what we need to do is that we'll have to find a straight line that relates the 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 two uh, the these plots all right so we'll need to uh, plot the line so the line is actually maybe um you, you can find the equation of this line by using the linear regression equation just now right so which is given by this all right maybe something like this all right so this is actually the line that relates the, the two variables all right that, re that, that, that go through the, the the plots on the scatter plot all right so the methods uh the methods uh, of, of obtaining the linear regression line is called the least square method all right the method of least squares so why this method is used so because we want to estimate the regression coefficient so the regression coefficient is given by the you know the uh, a and also the b which is the a is the y intercept a is the y intercept and b is the slope of uh, of the line uh, to produce the straight line uh, which is given by the formula y equal to a plus b s just now okay so to do this all right so we'll have a uh, two formula uh, but uh, in this formula we'll have to find b first and then only we can find a because the a depends on the b value all right so the formula is given by this all right so summation of x y minus summation of x multiply summation of y over n the whole thing over summation of x square minus summation of x in the bracket square over n all right and the formula for a is given by summation of y over n minus b here right so that's why we'll have to find b first because it will be used in a right so multiply with the summation of x uh, over n okay so b is the slope of the straight line where if b is positive meaning that the straight line is slanting to the right something like this so we call this as positive relationship between the x and y positive relationship okay what is mean by positive relationship means that as x increases so the value of y will also increase all right so they they increase together but if it is negative meaning that your straight line will be slanting to the left something like this so this is called as negative relationship the value of b is negative means that it is negative relationship so what is meant by negative relationship as x increases but the y will decreases all right so the y decreases okay so let's have a look at the example 3.4 so where it studies about the age of the car and its selling price so of course the longer the the the, the long the the you know the longer the age so of course the selling price will be lesser and lesser I mean the second hand car right okay so this age of car the selling price actually depend on the age of car so age of car is actually x which is uh, independent variable but the selling price it is dependent variable because it depends on the age of the car okay so given the, by the set of data all right if we have this set of data then we have to transform uh, we have to rebuild a new table which is something like this okay all right so we'll have uh, something like this so note that the num the number of observations is eight all right because we have eight observations here so please take note we have eight which is n equal to eight okay so uh the next one is that we'll have to find the x square y square and x y uh, okay so x square okay so what we need to do is to find the seven square all right seven square so you will get sorry seven square you get 49 and then 10 square you get 100 eight square you get 64 eight square again 64 nine square you get 81 and then 12 square 144 and then you have five square you get 25 and then nine square you get 81 okay so summation of y square is given by maybe i use another color okay summation of y square the first one is y which is 15 so the 15 square will be 225 okay 225 the next one 13 will be given by 169 and then 15 again we get 225 and then 14 you get 196 and then 11 you get 121 so we proceed again with nine all right now we'll give nine square will be 81 and then 18 square will be given by three two four 
Okay, and 13 squared was given by 169. And then you'll have to find this, the multiplication of xy given by this, alright? Meaning that you have to multiply these two. So 7 multiplied by 15, alright? 7 multiplied by 15, you get 105. So 10 multiplied by 30, you get 13, you get 130. And then 8 multiplied by 15, you get 120. And proceed and you get 112. And then again, you get 99, 108. Um, 90 and also the last one is 117 so what you need to do next is that to sum them up right tambah tambah mereka you add them up right you add them up so you'll get the first one you meaning that the first one you have to add this up okay 7 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 12 plus 5 plus 9 so you will get 68 right 68 so what is this this is actually given by summation of x because it is in the column of x okay the next one summation of y so you have to add them up and you'll get 108 so this is actually summation of y all right the next one you have to add the x square so meaning that you'll get 608 please use your calculator all right so you get summation of x square and then you'll have y square so you have add them up you get 1510 so this is actually given by summation of y square and then you have to add the xy so you'll get 881 so this is actually the summation of xy why we need to write this because we'll use this in the formula later so always to find the linear regression equation so we'll have to find b first so where the b is given by a days formula okay so we have to insert the value summation of xy is given by this all right let me highlight this one okay so summation of xy is given by 881 okay so we'll fill up this 881 all right summation of x is given by this 68 all right so you get 68 summation of y next one summation of y is given by this 108 and over n here all right n is given by the number of observation is 8 all right the next one is summation of x square summation of x square is given by this right 608 so you'll fill up with 608 and then minus summation of x in the bracket square meaning that you have to take the summation of x which is 68 all right 68 square over 8 okay so press your calculator be careful when you're pressing your calculator so you'll get negative 1.2333 okay so maybe you can take four decimal places all right one negative 1 1.2333 all right so using these b values you can find the a value meaning that given by the formula which is given by this all right so next one is summation of y is from that you get 108 all right so 108 over n is 8 so b is given by negative 1.2333 that's why you have to find b first all right summation of x given by 68 all right over n which is 8 so press your calculator but be careful when pressing your calculator so you got 23. 9831 okay so you'll have something like this so your your equation is given by 23.9831 plus b is minus so you have minus here 1.2333x right so because you just substitute with the value of a and also value of b so x is there okay so the next question that may that might be asked in the examination is that estimate the selling price of the used car uh which is aging 11 years old all right so firstly you have to identify what is selling price selling price meaning that what we need to find is what is the value of y if uh, the age here is actually x x is 11 meaning that what you need to do is you'll have to substitute the value of 11 into this formula why because you've obtained the formula all right so firstly write your formula y is given by 23.9831 minus 1.2333x all right so now your x is 11 so 23.9831 minus 1.2333 all right so your x value is 11 so substitute with 11 so this x has already changed to 11 so press your calculator so you'll get okay somewhere around rm all right uh 10.4168 but remember the values given is actually rm in thousand all right so you'll have to multiply by thousand all right so multiply this by thousand so you'll get around rm uh 10,416 80 cent okay something like this okay so you get the value you can estimate the value by having the formula uh, of the linear regression equation all right so the next one interpret the regression coefficient of the slope which is given by slope just now b is negative 1.233 all right so firstly write negative 1.2333 so note that it is negative so uh, meaning that it is having negative relationship all right so meaning that uh, for each year all right so for each year so we can say that for each year uh, increase okay for each increase in age all right of the used car okay of the used car so the, the price okay the selling price 
the selling price will drop okay the selling price drops by okay drops because of this negative all right so drops by 1.2333 ratio okay so uh this one can be written as rm uh thousand okay something like this meaning that uh each year uh you the the, the age uh of the car increases so the price will drop by one uh hundred and uh, sorry one thousand two hundred and thirty three point three uh something like that okay so the the higher the the age of the car and then the 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 more the, the selling price drops okay so the next one is the coefficient of determination which is leveled by r square so what is that so it actually indicates the percentage of total variation in y that is explained by y and the value of r square should lies between zero and one so as r square is this uh, as the coefficient is approaching one so it means that x is become more and more important to be included to be included to predict the value of y all right so we need to recall the person's uh, moment coefficient all right correlation coefficient which is given by this formula okay so let's recall this example which is example 3.4 so given by this data so we'll have to find this table and find the summation all right so now we'll want to uh, you know substitute the values here into the formula of Pearson's moment correlation coefficient so summation of x y is given by 881 all right so 881 and then summation of x given by 68 okay 68 summation of y is given by 108 108 so n is actually 8 sorry let's put in the middle all right x is 8 n is 8 summation of x square is given for 608 okay so 608 minus summation of x in the bracket square meaning that 68 square you'll have to take square over n which is 8 summation of y square is given 1510 so 1510 summation of um y is given by 108 so 108 but we'll have to put square over n is 8 okay so use these values and substitute uh, you know, using your calculator so you'll actually get the value of r given by negative 0 0.9368 all right but we want to get the r square so the r square values is given by 0 0.8776 okay so from this r square value we can interpret as you know 0 0.8 uh, 8, uh, 776 so you can convert this into percentage so you'll have uh, 87.76 meaning you have to multiply with 100 so meaning that you can say that the 87 okay so 87.76 percent of the total variation in the y which is the selling price can be explained by the age of the used car which is the, the uh, independent variable x all right so what about the rest of the 12.24 percent so this 12.24 uh, percent can be explained by any other variables okay that is related to this uh you know very uh, this uh subject